The clock is ticking on a bus route that links people in Milwaukee to their jobs in Waukesha County. As Brandon Rook tells us, the money that pays for the bus is about to run out, and that puts future commutes in jeopardy. I came to this bus stop at 103rd and Silver Spring to meet some of the people who use these buses to work. They're worried that if the funding runs out, they may have to quit their jobs. When Naomi Hamilton needs to go to Menominee Falls for her job at Walmart. It's very convenient. She catches the 61 bus. I've been taking the Milwaukee bus for three years. It's one of two job lines bus routes offered by the Milwaukee County Transit System, taking workers from Milwaukee to jobs in the suburbs. In 2014, three local organizations successfully argued that the state DOT discriminated against minorities in the zoo interchange project by not including improvements to public transportation. Money from the lawsuit has been used to fund the routes for the past four years, but the money is almost gone and the service will end in December unless the county finds $2.8 million to run the bus lines each year. Hamilton says that could cost her job. It'd be tough for us. How do we maintain, right, these bus lines? Um, how do we dream of something even bigger and better for all of us? That's the big question Reverend Marilyn Miller with MICA has. Her organization has been working to keep the routes going. According to MCTS, about 30 people a day take Route 6 to jobs in New Berlin. Route 61 to Menominee Falls averages 214 passengers a day. That's less than most other bus routes, but MCTS wants to keep it going. Hamilton hopes they can find a solution soon. And people need those buses to go to work. MCTS is working with Waukesha Metro on alternative solutions if Milwaukee County can't find the money to keep job lines. I also reached out to the Milwaukee County Executive Chris Abley, and he sent me this statement reading, I've asked MCTS to help us find creative solutions that will best serve our job line bus riders and will continue to explore all possibilities. In Milwaukee, Brandon Rook, today's TMJ4. Brandon, thanks. Supporters of these routes say they're going to keep the pressure on next month by holding a rally.